Hi, welcome to the preview video for the PlayStation 3 Slim. Uh, this is the 320 gig model, uh, which you would have seen me unbox in my prior video, which I uh, captured yesterday. Uh, basically, what we're going to do is just have a quick look around the device itself, um, and you know, just to get some familiarity of uh, what can be seen around this particular unit. So first things first, we'll have a look at the front. So probably the most obvious thing is the disk drive, which is this slot here. Uh, now, basically, it, it is designed for um, Blu-ray discs, which is the native um, optical disc format for the PlayStation 3. Uh, but you can also put in DVDs and CDs as it is capable of uh, playing back DVD movies as well as um, CD audio. Also on the front here we'll notice a couple of buttons. So this button here is the eject button so when you want to remove a disc that's the button you press and also a power button here obviously when you want to switch it on and off. Uh, now one of the benefits of the PS3 um, is that when you uh, change the interface on your television uh, when connected via HDMI to that uh, which is connected to the PS3 it will automatically turn on the PlayStation 3 according to the manual so I'm yet to actually try that myself but um, hopefully that goes off without a hitch also on the front here we'll notice two USB ports now these are designed uh, for you to connect the controllers um, to so when you want to recharge your controllers this is where you do it although you can recharge the controllers off any USB port say on a desktop computer, laptop computer or one of those um, AC power adapters with USB ports on the back so that's also handy uh, it also serves as a means to automatically pair a uh, control with the unit so instead of mucking around on the um, controller which really is fairly trivial anyway you can just connect the cable directly to one of these ports and it will complete the pairing process for you also on the front here uh, you might be able to see it there you'll see a uh, cylinder symbol here that um, I'm guessing that shows hard drive activity and then next to that is a symbol for uh, Wi-Fi connectivity on the uh, bottom right edge here um, there's a whole stack of logos and stuff um, probably can't focus too well on that at the moment but uh, behind that panel the um, hard drive in the unit is housed and uh, it is replaceable um, all you need to do is uh, this little um, covering here you need to you just need to pop that open and there's a screw behind it and if you undo that screw you'll be able to remove the hard drive I won't be doing that now because um, 320 gigabytes is more than enough for my storage needs uh, and the fact that I have a Windows home server with uh, three terabytes of storage in it at the moment and I'm about to drop another two terabytes in um, probably um, in the next couple of weeks let's uh, go around the rear of the unit because there's nothing on the sides so uh, basically what we have here is um, one large vent so with with modern game systems they do have vents and they also tend to have fans in them as well just make sure you don't have um, this console right up against a wall or something because you will um, cause cooling issues and you may cause the device to overheat um, looking at other ports on the back here we have uh, an ethernet port so that's um, there for anything from 10 megabits 100 megabits or up to 1 gigabit um, ethernet connectivity which is good uh, the device also has uh, Wi-Fi connectivity in there as well I'm not sure if it's 802.11n capable but it, it is restricted to the 2.4 gigahertz spectrum uh, moving along here we have an HDMI port which is uh, de rigueur on um, the majority of modern consoles and um, audio visual devices 
we have a digital output socket so that's an optical output so if you want to connect this to a home theater system up to 5.1 channel you can use that otherwise if you want 7.1 uh, surround sound uh, you will need to use the HDMI socket moving along we have the AV multi out socket this socket provides um, depending upon which uh, cable you buy you can uh, either have S video output uh, component output which is probably the best that you can get on this interface or uh, composite obviously my preference would be uh, component but because I have HDMI connectivity that's far simpler um, in that respect uh, and also on the uh, at the end here is the AC power socket it's a fairly standard connector there so no terribly big surprises and there's nothing on the side and we're back to the front so essentially that's a preview of the PlayStation 3 Slim uh, the device itself uh, again with uh, my regular process I'm going to now review the unit um, I have bought a couple of um, games for it which are just over here so Call of Duty Black Ops and Gran Turismo 5 um, which are uh, 3D compatible which is fantastic which will uh, go well with the 3D television so I will now go into review mode and uh, in a few weeks time I'll let you know my thoughts Thanks for watching.